Hi everyone, my name is Hayam El Sahardi and I'm the Social Emotional Learning Consulting Teacher for Seattle Public Schools. I hope you're all doing well. If you recall, I was here last week talking about how exploring our personal strengths can be helpful not only to our own well-being, but as well as influence us in how we help others during this really tough time especially. I'd like to talk about this a little further and uh, discuss how cultures influence our definition of strengths or what we call assets. So, you know culture can mean a lot of different things and the definition isn't always tied to race, religion, or background. So like, I was born in the States, but I'm half Egyptian and half Indian. In. So these are just a few ways that I identify myself, but again, culture can mean a lot of things like the traditions we have at home. So growing up, I wasn't too close with my mom because she just worked so much, but on Sunday, she'd be cooking up a storm and I would be her little helper. This is where I got to hang out with her. And today I know that my love for cooking came from her. And I learned how this little tradition of ours helps me use cooking and food to connect with others. And this is a cultural asset that isn't necessarily tied to my background that I'm really proud of. Assets like speaking other languages, your strongest personality traits like kindness, compassion, or even the customs and traditions you cherish are examples of strengths that you might identify within yourself. To explore your assets even further, some questions you may review are, how does my culture influence my interests, identity, and definition of success? Two, what are your unique cultural assets? And three, how can you use these assets to contribute to your own happiness and share these assets with others as well? When we come together to share what makes our culture special, we provide these great opportunities to learn while also digging into our own perception of ourselves. Thank you for allowing me to share some thoughts about our cultural strengths today. Remember to keep your eye on your strengths during this time as it's just one more way to still learn and grow at home.